Have you been living in your home for over 20 years? Are you thinking it's time to make a move? Thinking about retirement? Hi, I'm Scott Sacken. I've been a professional real estate agent for over 35 years. And these are questions that my clients are having today in today's real estate market. And I'd like to share some of what they've been experiencing and how I've been helping them make these life-changing decisions. You know, it's time to turn a new chapter, a new page in life, and it's a big decision. The first thing I'd like to say is start thinking about it early. It's never too early to start the conversation with your spouse, your significant other, and specifically your family that's going to be involved in this next chapter of your life. By this, I mean, you know, your children, your grandchildren, your siblings, any family that's going to be an integral part of your life moving forward. So here's one of the options that you have that we see. Number one is you love where you live now, but you're wandering around the house and thinking, my gosh, this is too big. It's more than we need to keep up. We're working less or working not at all. We're having more fun with our leisure activities. I don't want to be tied to this big house. Makes perfect sense. So you've decided you want to move to something smaller. Do you stay in the same area? Well, this is choice number one. Really look hard and deep and tell yourself from what you want to get out of life with hobbies, family, social, travel, etc., is keeping your home base in the same community important to you. That's based on friends, church, other activities like we just mentioned. You may want to look at either A, a senior community, a specific retirement community, depending if your needs have changed. Maybe you need a little bit more help. You might be looking at assisted living, or you might be just looking at scaling down to a single-story home if you live in a big two-story home. So again, start thinking about what does that next property look like physically, the type of room you want, and say, can I find this in my immediate area, my same town, maybe expanding out in your same geographic area within an hour of where you live now. That's kind of option number one to think about. Now, let's talk about option number two, which is 180 degrees from that, and that's uprooting, moving across country. You may be torn. You may have kids in Montana, and you may have kids in Florida, and maybe you've got kids in New York City. If you're in sync with your whole family, you're going to want to talk about this and figure out where's the best place for mom and dad or mom or dad to be to be able to, again, have a vibrant lifestyle, do what you want to do, and still be in flow and connection with your family. Now, a lot of my clients are saying, gosh, a move across country, that's going to vastly change what I can afford to buy, what the climate's going to be like, what my access to activities is. Because let's face it, we get very complacent and very used to what we've done for the last 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Change is difficult. So again, underscoring, start thinking about the process up to a year in advance. Talk to the family, talk to the friends in these areas you're thinking about moving to if it is out of state. Get a picture of what your life might look like if you're there. That's why early planning is really critical. Get in touch with a real estate agent or take advantage of all the online portals to search for possible homes in these areas. You can let your fingers and your hands do the walking on the computer and really get a feel for where you might want to be living and how that lifestyle looks from an expense standpoint and even from an activities standpoint. Those are kind of the two big issues that I see facing my clients today. And I want to underscore the importance of being preemptive. You want to make your life-changing move when it's on your terms and your time. What I've seen happen, and it's tragic, is often we say, gee, we've got time down the line. I can do this when I want. I'd like to move, et cetera, et cetera. Then some life event happens, a major fall, heaven forbid, an injury, um, an illness, a need to move maybe closer to a family member to help them out. And all of a sudden, this event forces a quick decision, and my client's not prepared. And oftentimes, this is where the wrong decisions are made, and then it ends up being a stepping stone situation, and that's never something good. You want this next phase of life to be well planned out, and maybe it's not the last step for you, but you want to be thinking this is the next step, then even a little bit of thought process into what's going to be beyond that. If you're still independent and you don't need any help and you're moving across country, you're going to go into your own home. But then look beyond that and say, okay, if that's where I'm going to stay forever, what's the next step look like after that? What will my options be? So I think you're getting the idea here. The main thing is plan, plan, plan. Think about it ahead of time, talk, and think about every possibility down the line. If I do this, then this could happen, and this could happen, and this could happen. If I go over here, then this is what it could look like. It's just painting that picture for yourself ahead of time, now in the comfort of the current home, when you don't have any stress or feel pressured based on an event happening. Hey, thanks so much for watching today, and if you enjoyed the content, 
please subscribe and stay in the loop. My promise to you is always to give you the best information I can to help you make the best decisions about your life. And it's based on my real life experiences with clients over the past 35 years. Thank you.